Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab. In this video, I'm going to walk through creating a skill that saves attributes, user attributes, to a DynamoDB. And I'm going to do that using the Alexa Skills Kit SDK 2.0 for Node.js. This is a tutorial that I did about a year ago for the 1.0 SDK, but it's changed quite a bit, so I thought I would do it again. And this is a, this is a pretty common requirement for a skill, uh, so maybe you want to ask a user for their name and then greet them by name when they come back. That's kind of a common use case and that's the one that we're going to use. Uh, I am going to start with some code that I pushed out to skilltemplates.com. So I'm using the Alexa Skills Kit CLI to get it. So ask new template URL. URL is https colon slash slash skilltemplates.com slash templates dot json just like that and this one is called attribute starter that's it there and that'll pull in our skill project here and let me show you what's going on in here um, so uh, rather than writing all the code for the tutorial i'm going to walk through the code that i've already pushed out on to uh, skill templates and um, this will give you uh, an example of how you would go about uh, incorporating the functionality that allows you to save attributes out to DynamoDB which is built in and provided by the uh, CLI or not the CLI but the SDK the 2.0 SDK um, the, the the changes it, it's the way that you do it is quite a bit different than 1.0. It, it's not hard, but there are a few more steps. Um, so let me just show you what uh, what's different. So first of all, in the um, the 2.0 SDK, it's a lot more module than the 1.0 SDK. So if you're um, if you're requiring the SDK, you need the entire SDK to to do the persistent stuff. So there's uh, ask SDK dash core, which is like the, uh, the the light version of it, which is the default if you do from the command line CLI, like ask new. And also if you're using one of the other um, skill templates that it's, that's using the 2.0 SDK, uh, most of them I think use just the, the core SDK, but for this one you need the entire thing. So you'll need to include that. And that's included in the template, but just again, to kind of um, talk through what's going on in here. And this skill, the example, is really simple. It just prompts the user for their name when the skill is launched on a launch request. And it saves their name when the user responds. It saves their name to uh, DynamoDB. And so this, my name intent handler, is um, dealing with the response. And there's a slot that is set up in the, uh, the interaction model for that intent show you that here um, yeah so my name intent and there's a, a, a slot called name in there and I'm using that to um, basically uh, create an attribute value that is going to get persisted back to uh, Dynamo and that is happening right here with this um, attributes and the uh, attribute manager, which is part of the uh, the 2.0 SDK also. And so what this line 37 is doing here is just checking to see if there are any attributes that have previously been saved. And that is coming from this up here. And if not, then I'm adding a new attribute uh, and I'm just naming it the same as the uh, uh, this variable name up here, so I'm just calling it name value, and then I'm setting the value from the variable to that attribute, and then persisting it using this the attributes manager, and this is a, a function in the attributes manager set persistent attributes uh, to push it back to the uh, well. First, I'm setting the the value of the attributes, and here I'm saving the persistent attributes back to um, DynamoDB, and this is again all. Uh, boilerplate stuff that's provided by the uh, the SDK so it's it's pretty straightforward the only other thing that when I was going through it that kind of um, uh, it took me a little while to figure out 
uh, was this down here. So on the, the new SDK, um, when you create a, an instance of the uh, skill builder, there's a standard instance and a custom instance. And most of the exa examples that I've seen out there and when you do ask new using the CLI, like the, the, the boilerplate, it uses this uh, custom um, and I had to change that and it took me a little while to figure that out. But as long as you do um, standard, uh, that will allow you to add these two things here when you're um, exporting the uh, skill builder. And um, this, you know, dot with table name, this is where you're going to name the table that's going to be created in DynamoDB. And then uh, with auto create table, um, this flag will just uh, create the table if it doesn't already exist. So let me um, let me deploy this and uh, show you what's going on. Okay, so this is going to take a minute. I'm going to pause and come back. It's all deployed now. The um, invocation name that I used in the skill template skill for this is also called. Um, uh, attribute starter. So let's test it out. Alexa, open attribute starter. There was a problem with the requested skills response. Okay, so that problem is related to the fact that the uh, role that was set up by the skills kit CLI uh, does not have permission to create the table in uh, AWS, the Lambda table. And so the way that you fix that is, um, so in uh, AWS, there is a new role that gets created when you uh, publish a skill using the CLI, and it defaults to the, uh, the name of the, uh, I think the Lambda function. Um, yeah, it's the same name as the Lambda function, uh, but it uses the basic execution for uh, Lambda, which isn't going to provide the permissions that we need to create the table. So that's a pretty easy fix if you just go um, attach policies and then search for DynamoDB. And I'm going to just provide full access just because I know that will give me the permissions that I need. Probably don't want to do that um, just because it's more permissive than it needs to be. Uh, but this is what I'm going to do for now. All right, so now I've given this role that was created um, permissions basically, so attached a policy so that it is able to create the DynamoDB database. And now if I try the skill, it should work. So Alexa, open attribute starter. Hello there. What is your name? My name's Steve. Hello, Steve. It's nice to meet you. Okay, so now if all is working, I should be able to go over to DynamoDB and see that the table was created and I should see a record in the table. So if I go to tables, sure enough, there is the table. Um, remember, it's called Alexa-data. And then if I go to the items tab here, I can see the, the one record was created here. And the um, if I look in the uh, the attributes, you can see there's my uh, attribute from the, the skill with this value. So now if I open the skill again, Alexa, open attribute starter. Hello there. What is your name? Bob. I remember you. You told me your name was Steve. So you can see a really simple example, um, but illustrates how to persist uh, information about a user into uh, DynamoDB using the, 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 the built-in functionality that's part of the Ask SDK 2.0. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those and I'll reply just as quickly as I can. If it, if it was helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the Data Lab channel. Thanks so much.